today I am filming one of my most requested videos, as you can see from the title. This is how I do my brows for summertime and springtime. For the summer and springtime, I love the Anastasia Brow Waves Pencil just because, what color? In, I'm in soft brown. Um, just because I find that the pencil is a little softer and it's better to wear when I live in a place that is super duper hot and you are sweating all the time and I just find that it holds up better than the um, dip brow which I use during the fall and winter. Now I wanted to show you guys before I get started because I don't want to ramble too long um, but I want to show you ahead of time I let's see where okay so before I actually do my brows about I'd say once a week I go in with the spoolie that comes with the pencil and I can't really show you because I already have my brows done for the video but I brush the hairs up basically I don't brush them in the way that they fall naturally I brush them up and then I go in with a pair of small scissors, nothing special. These are brow scissors, which you can find at CVS, probably Walmart, anywhere. And I go in and I cut the hair that is above the brow line, just because I do have really long brows. I have a lot of areas that are sparse and don't really grow hair, most especially on the top here and so if I go and I try to pluck the hairs that are sticking out all over the place I'll just end up with blotchy brows so I brush them up and trim them that way I'm keeping the hair and I'm keeping them in line with the rest of the brow I also go in uh, every few days and I just tweeze any hair this is actually a sucky pair of tweezers I misplaced my good pair but um, I go in and I always just tweeze the brows. I do not get my brows done just because I have really funky brows, which you will see in the beginning part of the tutorial, but they just grow really funny and every time I get them done, I feel like nobody does a good job. So I do them myself and what I will do is go in with like, I might take a gel uh, liner or just something that is super dark and I will kind of carve out what I want my brow to look like. So I'll draw in super intense fake brows and then I'll just tweeze anything that is on the outside of that. Um, I think that is all I have to talk about. You're gonna see everything that I use, everything that I do. Uh, please keep in mind I am not a makeup artist. I don't claim to be. I don't even claim to do amazing makeup. This is just what works for me, I feel like the brows frame the face and if you do a full face of makeup and you don't do your brows, it just doesn't really come together all that well. So the brows, it just makes everything work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so I have my pencil and the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to start on the bottom of my eyebrow. I just find that that works best for me because that's where I want the most definition. But I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take it with a super, super duper light hand and go in and do it in small strokes. I feel like I can't talk while I'm doing this. I'm gonna do it in really small strokes just like how the hair would naturally grow in. You don't want to just take it and do a line and make it look super unnatural. So I'm going to do that. Like I am barely touching the pencil to the skin at all because I want this area over here to be natural. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to take and kind of box off this area a little bit and again I'm gonna go in the direction that the hair naturally grows so over towards the inside of my brow it grows more up as opposed to over so I'm gonna draw it more up and then I'm gonna go back in down here and just start filling in the inside of the brow again with super super light strokes of the hand I'm barely touching the skin and I'm gonna use the side of the pencil that way I'm getting more of the color but I'm not having to put as much pressure whereas if you just use the tip you would have a smaller area and it could come off unnatural so 
going in the way of the actual natural hair growth. Now, once I have completed that inside section, you can choose, I mean, you can basically do it whatever way you want. And honestly, every time I do my brows, I do it a different way. But right now, I'm just gonna continue going in towards the bottom. And as I get to the center of the brow where you have the highest arch, I'm gonna start applying more pressure. Not a whole lot, I don't want it to like be, oh, super light and then crazy dramatic but I am gonna go in and make it a little darker just because that area of the brow does have more hair, so for it to be darker is natural. There is more density of the hair. So applying a little more pressure with the tip of the pencil, not the side of it. And then continuing down towards the tail of the brow, again, with a little more intense pressure. I also forgot to mention that before I started with my brows, I combed it out just to get everything kind of in the natural um, way that it is supposed to go. And also, I treat my brush of my brow pencil like a blending brush. As much as you blend your eyeshadow, you want to blend your brows. So, the bottom is pretty much done for now. And then you can go and just kind of fill in as you see fit. And then I'm going to start on the top. Some people might want to outline the brow before um, they get started, but I just prefer to do it this way. And I'm going again, light strokes in the direction of the natural hair growth. And then as I get to the arch, I am applying a bit more pressure. I want this area to be defined and look natural. So once I have completely covered in the brow, and you see how it's kind of a gradient, it's lighter over here and it gets darker and more dense here. Once I am finished with that and I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm gonna go back in with the spoolie on my um, pencil and I'm gonna brush everything out. Now the reason you wanna do this is because you want to blend the color, and believe it or not, with most eyebrow products, you don't realize how much product you actually have in the brow. So before you continue going in trying to make it darker, if you just take the spoolie and brush it out, you will be distributing the color so that you are not having to use as much of your product, and therefore you are having a longer lasting product. And again, just brushing everything in the way of the natural hair growth. So I keep over here kind of going up and over, and then over here I just bring it over. And for the most part, that brow is done for now. I'm going to go over here and do this brow really quick, and then I will show you what I do once I've completed both the brows. I'm going back in and doing the same thing with my other brow.
now that both brows are complete, this is a little tip that I do um, because I don't, again, I've said I don't really like my brows to look unnatural. I'm not really into like the super cut um, version of the brows. So I go back in with the brush that I use to do my foundation and this is a Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. This is what I did my foundation with this morning. And I go in and I kind of pat that to the inside of the brow. I don't drag it. Basically I'm just helping to, what would you say, like dilute the color a bit just so that it is a little more natural looking and it doesn't look like, hey, I have a pencil on my face. So it's not a big step, but it's an important one for me. Then once I'm done with that, I go in with any concealer right now. I just have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind on hand. And I go in and I define the bottom of my brow. This also helps in case you make any errors or you applied pencil where you didn't want it. You can go and clean it up and basically make the shape how you want it to look. So. I apply that to make the bottom look sharp, look defined, and then I blend that out. I'm using, this is a vegan cruelty free um, makeup brush from 100% Pure, who I love. And I blend, 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 blend because I don't want a super harsh line. Some people prefer to go in and have a white line through just to show that their brows are super defined. I'm not into that so I just brow the heck out of it. And this brow is now done. Moving on to the next one. Doing the same thing. And again, I kind of just do small strokes so that I'm not like making an <laughs> I'm making an error. You just gotta do what's comfortable for you. Like I said, I never claim to be a makeup artist. I just do what I find works for me the best in my day-to-day -day life. Now one last time I'm going to go in with my spoolie and again just kind of blend because I know it's obnoxious but like I said, kind of how you blend your eyeshadow, you just want to make sure that everything is blended and in place and that it also helps to make the brows look more natural because you are separating the hairs and keeping them from clumping and looking fake. So the last step, the last step, the last step, <laughs> the last step, I'm going in with Maybelline's Great Lash, which I have used this since I was in high school, which was many, many years ago. But it is great because it helps to keep the brows in place. You can use this as a mascara if you prefer, but I, look at how nasty it is. But that is because I use it for my brows, so I put a lot of color back in here. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to apply this to the outside of my brows because I want to make sure that those are going to stay in place and they are the hairs that are most likely to kind of wander and get out of where I want them. So it also helps again just to kind of separate the hairs and to give it a more natural look. So there you have it. This is the final result. I hope that you guys got something out of this video. Just know that no one product and no one technique works well for everybody. Everyone has a certain way of doing things and you just have to find what works for you. Please give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more like it. Please leave a comment down below what brow products you love and any maybe brow videos that you enjoy watching. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.